So my name is Aaron Tilton. I'm the president and CEO of SmartFi. And our project essentially is a uh, open lending platform with cryptocurrency monetary policy. So one of the reasons that we selected to Komodo as a, as a technology partner, very specifically, they had the uh, interoperability and the atomic swaps and they had the most experience that we had seen and the most complete process uh, that mimicked a transaction that we already used in our derivatives trading that created these hedges for our loans. I know that's a little technical, but there is a very specific reason that we selected Komodo and was for their atomic swap technology. The other reason we selected Komodo is that after we began our discussions and we've spent three years talking to Komodo, researching them, researching the technology, and then we're one year into the development. But the other reason was they had an ideology that we agreed with and we believed was at the core of who we were as SmartFi. And we saw that same ideology in Komodo in that free markets are paramount. And the selection and use of technology, uh, it has to align with the concept that as an individual, you should be empowered to utilize your assets the way that you deem fit under your control. SmartFi uh, is a project that we conceived it was an answer to a couple of different problems that we noticed, one of which was the unnecessary bear market volatility killed user adoption. Every time that, that crypto would get a run up and everybody would get excited about it, it was followed by a, you know, a bear market that everybody got real unexcited about it, right? People lost money and, and it's just this cyclical process. And our experience with the oil and gas business and, and energy business led us to understand that there are answers for this unnecessary volatility, but there's specific strategies that involve a hedge. In, in the financial world, a hedge is something that provides safety. And that's what we noticed in the source code for all existing cryptocurrencies is there is no on-chain hedge available that allows for somebody to get to safety when the buyer markets start. Cryptocurrency networks functioned a lot like a capacity market for an electric network. So I won't bore you with all the details, but in, in the energy space and generation in particular, in the East Coast part of the, uh, the United States, they have something called centralized capacity markets. And also in just electricity in general, you have a network that has to achieve balance real time and deliver a commodity, and we recognized that that looked a lot like uh, a hash rate on the network. So we structured our process and what we're doing as a company around cryptocurrencies and the structure of the source code. One of the things that we really appreciated and made a big difference in our selection of the technology for our decks, one is that that Komodo actually had a functioning structure around what we would consider true atomic swaps. They were not synthetic structures, uh, but they were real interoperable uh, transactions that allowed the individual to continually keep control of their assets and, and never have a, an intermediary under that structure and that the peer-to-peer -peer network enabled that, but it didn't, uh, it wasn't the actual atomic swap uh, completion itself, that that took place uh, on chain. So we were very, that was very important to us. It was a true atomic swap. But we see decentralization and DeFi as the future of derivative settlements. The derivative markets are about 15 times bigger than the currency markets. Most of the impact from economic GDP is actually driven by what happens in the derivatives market, not in the currency market. So we see that the, the DeFi space as the natural evolution into derivatives. So as, as we've spent the last three years, both uh, doing due diligence on Komodo, watching what they did, uh, and then the last year executing on the project, uh, obviously we think that we wouldn't have spent that amount of time um, 
implementing their dev team into our processes and our technology. Uh, it's a lot of a commitment and the, the structure of the two teams really matches up well. That was super important to us. We had interviewed several different blockchain projects, uh, developers, and they always kept saying, well, why don't you use this technology or why don't you use this or just do it this way? And, but, you know, they never really, it, it was either they didn't understand it or they didn't understand the ideology behind what we were doing. Or frankly, they were just not quick enough to grasp what can be a complex construct. But the, the developers at Komodo did, and that's what sold us right there. Hi, everyone. My name is Jason Brown, uh, also known as PolyCryptoBlog, head of business development with uh, Komodo Platform. And I'm currently uh, helping the liaison between the Komodo community and its developers and the SmartFi platform. So personally, the, the reason why I was so keen on getting SmartFi and Komodo to work together is that I saw that uh, SmartFi had a pretty unique idea uh, for a stable coin uh, that could actually be used in the real world. Uh, so SmartFi is a uh, lending, decentralized and centralized lending platform uh, that we'll be offering to the masses lending, borrowing, trading, uh, utilizing a bunch of Komodo technology. Why people should care about the SmartFi project, uh, it's bringing the world's first mineable stablecoin uh, to the crypto ecosystem. And it is creating what I refer to as an electro dollar, uh, which ties the consumption of electricity and uh, derivative products from that, such as uh, silicon chip derivatives, uh, into a stable currency uh, that is interoperable with the rest of the crypto ecosystem. So the relationship between uh, the Komodo community and SmartFi is a uh, long-term relationship uh, and not just like a one-off type of partnership. Uh, you know, it, as I previously mentioned, uh, we spent three years discussing this project and uh, you know, we spent currently a year building it out and uh, we have at least another, I would say three to five years of, of known work to be done. And that doesn't include anything else that pops up along the way. Um, the reason why uh, you know, we're investing such a large uh, amount of energy and time into this is because like a lot of our technology goals are the same. Um, they have a great interest in our atomic swap uh, technology and to develop that out into different types of atomic swap variations. Eli five on why uh, the, our smart fire relationship is uh, beneficial for KMD is that uh, one, we will get more development funds to build out our, our tech in ways that we didn't see before. Uh, two, we'll get liquidity and uh, usage out of the Atomic Dex protocol. And uh, three, that we will uh, be able to start uh, pushing our products into the real world and get integrated into SmartFi services. Many uh, people might be wondering, so what's the benefit for uh, Komodo holders and uh, long-term community members? Um, so the SmartFi will give us access to a lot of uh, services that we previously did not have access to, uh, such as a US-based exchange, uh, US-based uh, fiat uh, purchasing. Um, those two things have been kind of stumbling blocks over the past couple of years, uh, just due to the wonky rules the US has. Um, there will, you know, through SmartFi's, uh, you know, to uh, dual token system, um, you know, both those will be listed on the atomic dex uh and no doubt liquidity will be um going through the decks from their ecosystem uh and as well uh, i had mentioned previously that we've been working with them uh for quite some time now and um uh, you know uh, this arrangement that we have uh will help uh fund uh business not just business development but uh code development for uh, years to come and uh long-term holders should be kind of excited about this because unlike most other cryptocurrencies, uh, a lot of our development funds, actually very little of our development funds come from our war chests, so to speak. Uh, we actually generate enough revenues to be able to kind of uh, be self-sustaining and actually grow. We're expanding our team 